Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Don't you agree? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Not So Super Fade. So, um, I know I'm a little late on this, uh, but today we're going to talk about uh, The Mandalorian Episode 2, um, The Child. So this episode, uh, once again, uh, I enjoyed it. Just like the first one, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, this story, this episode starts off right after the first one. You know, the Mandalorian's on his way back to the ship. Then he gets attacked by a couple of uh, other bounty hunters, and he end up, you know, killing them. So once he gets to his, uh, his ship. No, but before he gets to the ship, he does he does have a wound, and uh, Baby Yoda is trying to heal him, um, but he doesn't want him to. So right right there and then, I was like, you know what, that that little baby is uh, is force sensitive. And then he gets to the ship, then he he finds all these uh, Jawa Jawa uh, a scavenging and shit, basically taking the ship apart, stealing all the parts. Um, and he, he chased most of them, killed some of them, then tried to get inside their big bulk ship. They end up getting in, uh, injured in the process. And uh, like, get shot off the thing. Um, so later on, he meets up with uh, uh, Nick uh, Nolte's character. I forgot his name already. And basically, he's asking him for help to fix his ship again. Nick Nolte's kid tell him, you know, they gotta make a, they gotta go back to the Jawa and make a deal. And he's like, I killed most of them, you know, I killed them. I don't think, you know. So this happened. They end up uh, sitting down with the Jawa, uh, Jawa, Jawa. I keep forgetting the name. Damn it. So they sit down with them, and so now the Jawas want him to go into this, uh, get this egg for them and he goes in that kit in this cave it gets in this confrontation with his um beast and while he's finding that he's doing everything using all his weapons he can't basically do nothing then at the end the little baby yoda uses the force and picks up the beast and stops it and and he gets tired and passes out and so the mandalorian kills a beast with a fucking knife after all the try all the weapon he usually kills it with one little knife so that, that, that was it i guess he found like the uh pressure point to work he could stab the the beast and kill it then the episode goes on you know they him and the uh, nick knows character they rebuilt the ship and everything and he goes and the, at the end the baby yoda wakes up he does ask the uh, nick knows character to help him out but he doesn't so, once again, episode really enjoyed it. Uh, it, it had that the episode had that kind of like um, that uh, Indiana Jones feel to it, um, and but with the baby Yoda it had that. Um, if you, I don't know if you guys remember this old. Uh, it was, I think it was a George Lucas movie, old Ron Howard. Um, it uh, Willow. Kind of had that feel to it too, Willow, and you know the old Western quiet type style, you know. So enjoyed every bit of the episode. Uh, just it just upset that it's you know it's short. Um. In, well, now we all know that the baby Yoda is not Yoda. It's not a prequel story about Yoda. It's just uh, out of rim. Far from the rig, uh, the current galaxy story that's going on, and that baby is, uh, I guess, a creature part of the Yoda uh, species. So we're probably gonna find out more later on about it. So right now, um, I don't know what's gonna happen with the Mandalorian. Is he gonna try like stick around and try to help that baby Yoda, or is he gonna turn him in, or what, what's gonna happen? I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna go back to his clan and they're gonna probably like, yo, hey, you know, this, uh, he's probably, the baby's worth more, worth more to, uh, in our clan than, you know, us giving it up, something like that. Um, but enjoy the episode. One thing I like about uh, The Mandalorian right now is that they're not, uh, 
the helmet, you know? I like, if you guys remember that uh, uh, Judge Dredd movie, that it, like, throughout the whole movie, he never took off his helmet, like, towards the end of the movie. I'm pretty sure they eventually he's going to take off his helmet. But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the fact that he hasn't taken off his helmet. I like that mis the mysterious factor of the show. Um, but you're not, you're not really getting much detail. Every episode, you know, you get, like, this little um, wow moment. But other than that, I'm really liking what I see. But we'll see what happens next episode. Really enjoy episode two. Um, I'm not really going to grade uh, as far as the Mandalorian. I'm just going to tell you how I feel about it. Um, if you guys like this uh, Mandalorian so far, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, and I will be getting back at you for more reviews and reactions.